<clears throat> Welcome to another video. I'm going to apologize for the um, lack of energy and just just know, you guys, I've had a really rough week. I'm going to hop in the shower and when I come out, I'm just going to chat with you guys about a few things while I get dressed. Hey guys, I'm having a really hard time with a few things. Um, nothing too serious, but I just want to make this video and kind of document how I'm feeling in the moment. Uh, to make a long story short, I'm very much sleep deprived and just having a hard time at night getting rest. So, this video has no type of flow. Honestly, I'm just getting dressed and I wanted to just talk about some things that I have on my mind. First thing I want to chat about is how tired I am. I don't think I've ever felt so like exhausted. Like I'm just having a hard time balancing like my quality time versus like other time. Mother crown, two hearts. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hey, what time do you leave in the house? Probably like 11:30 or something. Oh, I'll be here before you. Okay. I'm just having a hard time right now um, with, like, with my mindset. I'm having a struggle. Like, I feel like I'm constantly in a battle with myself with what I should do and what I want to do. And then when I do the things that I want to do, I feel guilty about in my head a lot. I know I'm being very vague, but it's really just too much to go into detail about. And all of it is just personal things that I'm dealing with. Some more positive or more exciting news to talk about is the books that I've been reading. Um, I'm so proud of myself, you guys. It, growing up, I actually was a horrible reader. I love reading like self-help books, but my struggle has always been reading the full book. And so I do still enjoy self-help books, but ever since I got the Kindle for Christmas, I've been into, I think it's like romance, like romantic books. I'm on my third book. Since I got my Kindle, I've read for two weeks straight. The Kindle tells you, basically, it keeps track of how often you open the app and read. And I'm on the, my 14th day, like, straight. So I've been reading non-stop, literally every day, um, which has been making me feel very good because it's something that I get to do for myself. And I'm also, like, really into the books. But an example of what I was just re talking about with the battle I've been having mentally is for like just like this reading. I feel really good when I'm reading, but I think it's the times of the day that I read makes me feel guilty. I did post in my last video the two books I read. The first book I read was The Upside to Falling, or something like that, and the second one was Regretting You. I really liked both of them, and I'm currently on my third book, which is Remembering Him, I think. Um, I can't, I don't remember the title off the top of my head, but I think it's re oh, Reminders of Him. They're really good books. Um, I get into it and I end up reading like almost 20 chapters a day, which is insane. And I honestly think this might be why my eye keeps turning red, is the amount of reading on my Kindle I've been doing. I'm not sure. Could be completely something different, but I have never noticed my eye turning red until just last week. I'm excited to go back to work, but at the same time, like, I know how much anxiety my work brings, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but I am going back to work next week. Honestly, this year, I just want to make content that is so authentic, like, whatever I'm doing, that's what I'm vlogging. Like, this video, I'm literally just getting dressed and talking to you guys because I don't know what other videos I would want to make. Like, I'm not planning anything ahead. I'm kind of just going with the flow. Even my last video, um, the only reason I sat down and filmed it was because everybody was asleep. And I am excited to talk about my vision board. That's why I filmed it. So when things are on my heart and want to be discussed, then I will discuss it. Oh, something I'm making this week that I'm actually excited about and I've never done before is a prayer board. I would like to actually vlog it, but I'm doing it with my friends and I don't want to be like ruining the moment by being like recording it. But I'm making a prayer board and I've never made a prayer board before, but I am th excited to. So basically I went to the store yesterday and bought some supplies. I actually bought um, a like a thumbtack board. I don't know what it's called. 
a pin board, I think. I don't know what it's called. But I bought a board that you can use thumbtacks with. And I bought thumbtacks, um, index cards, sticky notes. What else? Um, envelopes. And so what I plan to do is I actually want to um, put some quotes on the board, like some biblical quotes or things that just remind me of my relationship with God. Okay. I want to categorize the envelopes like my family, myself, um, my husband, my career, and I want to just put prayer requests inside of them. And then I want a separate envelope for prayers that have been answered. And so I think this is a really good way to just really pay attention to the gratitude that I have for God and how much he blesses me in my life. I have been with my husband for almost 11 years and um, I am excited that I feel like this year we're really just putting each other first and trying to go to the restroom, Ayla. Take your diaper off. Daya, open the door and help Ayla please use the restroom. I'm excited to just be able to focus on my marriage. Um, I feel like sometimes we get distracted with life and we push our spouse to the side, but I am just really wanting to give my husband the love and affection and attention and submission that he deserves. Um, by the way, I don't think I explained why I'm getting dressed. I honestly just am having a bad day. Um, very tired. My head hurts so much. And I just think if I get dressed, maybe I won't ruin the rest of my day. I actually have a quote in my in my kitchen that says, do not let a bad moment become a bad day, something that within those lines. And so I really need to just follow that because I don't want my day to be like crap, especially the fact that, oops, especially the fact that my mom's coming today and I'm having lunch with Pedro today. And it's one of my, like, I'm on my last days of being home from maternity leave. So I'm just trying to turn this day around a bit. If you hear my daughter, don't mind her. She's, so when she sees me doing something, she tries to be even more obnoxious. So, um, aside from reading that has really been sparking excitement in my life, I've also really been enjoying my scrapbooking. Um, I have, I'm just super proud of it. And it's just something I get to think about and, like, in the moment like whenever there's events or something going on or I'm doing something with my family it makes me want to be more intentional with how I document so that I can use those pictures in my scrapbook if that makes sense I just am so excited to be more crafty this year and I'm hoping by the end of January I will actually pull out my sewing machine because my sewing machine I'm really wanting to sew. I don't think I mentioned that I want to learn how to sew because I want to make my kids a blanket out of their old clothes that obviously they wore when they were newborns. And so I want to hopefully make that so that this year they can be gifts for their birthday. I have been trying to get myself prepared for my workout like lifestyle. I have been doing these YouTube videos. I don't know if you guys have heard of Glow with Joe. I think that's her name or her YouTube account. I've just been finding videos and doing some of her workout videos at night. Um, but honestly, I'd rather go out for a walk. And I think eventually I'm gonna go back to yoga. I'm just not sure when, especially when I am not getting that much sleep. So once I start getting better sleep, I think I'm gonna implement yoga. By the way, it's hot yoga. So you sweat like crazy in there. Um, but the reason I'm saying I'm going to wait until I'm getting more sleep, I like to go to 5 a.m. classes before I go to work. And so there's no way I'm going to get up at 4.45 or 4.30 to make it to a 5 o'clock class if I'm not getting any sleep. So I'm hoping within the next couple weeks I can get some more sleep so that I can prepare myself to go back to yoga because I definitely miss my, my body being in that warm temperature because it feels so good on my back. And the stretches and movements just feel good to my, my body. And obviously, it's a really good workout. I'm almost done with my makeup. I'm just going to throw some mascara on, do my hair, and get dressed. I don't know what else I would like to add. I really just wanted to talk about like things, like, things that are making me excited about my daily life. And things coming up. Things that have been honestly just a struggle. But overall, the year is still a good start aside from my sleep and mental battles but i'm overall very excited for this year last thing i'm going to talk to you guys about is my health and my mindset for that 
I think I've been doing amazing with my, my, um, what I'm basically doing is healing my over, my binge eating habits. Um, I don't think I've ever been, like, acknowledged it as binge eating, but truly, that's what it is, you guys. I used to eat, not used to, but I can eat a whole meal and five minutes later be ready for, like, snacks and a dessert, and I don't think that's healthy, but that's just been how I've been my whole life, I feel like, and I'm trying to rewire my brain and obviously rewire my gut and so i have completely cut out soda from my diet i haven't had soda in like three weeks almost a month and i've been really strict with like just sticking to water tea and coffee like i haven't had any juice i have been doing so good i have cut back on candy and chips I only have a little bit here and there if I'm enjoying something with my kids, but I do not, like, indulge in it like I used to. Um, I bought a bag of hot Cheetos the other night. It was actually New Year's Eve. I enjoyed some chips because I really was craving hot Cheetos, and I had some with Pedro, and we left, like, a whole, like, half the bag, and I threw it away. And I threw away a bunch of chocolate that I had in the pantry. Like, I'm just really making different mindsets. Um... For even last night, I was so tired, and last night, I was like, I'm gonna, it was like 11, 30, almost 12 o'clock. I almost grabbed a peanut butter and jelly sandwich just because I was. Alright, my, my mom's here. My battery, my battery actually died. My battery died, so I needed to switch it out. But I was just saying that I actually, um, almost had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich last night for no reason. I wasn't even hungry. I just was not in a good mood. I was really sad and I just felt like I wanted it, but I didn't have it. I think the word I'm feeling is defeated. That's what it is. I don't feel depressed. I just feel defeated. So I feel very like numb and dull, but it's not depression. It's just, I'm tired. Alright you guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.